Hey folks, Mike Fundamentals for Training and Protection. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about the obvious. Purses. Purses. So I'm not a big um, purse carrier, um, but uh, in, in talking to my wife and especially in females, they, they carry a lot of purses and the topics come up in regards to um, guns in purses. Guns in purses. I've got some mixed feelings about this. Um, let's take a look at my, my wife's purse here today, right? So we've got our purse. Get that thing off of there. Let's see, what kind of stuff do we have in the purse? Okay, so let's see. We've got a wallet, American Eagle, checkbook, mine. Can't leave home without that one right there. That's a good one. What else we got? Pen, Luna bar. All right, thanks. Flashlight, brush, keys, mail file. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. Um, another checkbook. Where'd you get two checkbooks? Phone. One ear. One ear thing. Chapstick. An old watch band. Oh, and then a gun inside there. Uh, yeah. Uh, so. A lot of stuff inside the purse. Um, they make specific uh, purses for guns, and they have some application for it. And especially as, as women, uh, the purse is something that they're carrying with them all the time. And the topic comes up, should I carry my gun in my purse? Ah, so, um, Let's, let's talk about the, the application for it. So it's a nice little purse and we keep it onto our shoulder and then our, our, our life-saving uh, device is inside here. And next thing you know, there's a struggle with the purse. So what's, what's so valuable in here that your life depends on it? Your wallet, your keys, your phone, none of that stuff. It's replaceable. However, when we start having one of these things in there, now we have to have a struggle for it. Now we're struggling for um, the life-saving equipment that we have. And I, I, have a, I have a challenge with that because now we're fighting over something that because we, we can't lose our gun. Um, I know this purse isn't designed specifically for uh, uh, a weapons-mounted gun in there, and, and I'm just trying to show a point to it. Um, when we have, if we're wearing it like this, it really can come off easy. If we were to want to run one of these, I would surmise to try and do it of a cross body. This one really doesn't work so well for it. Uh, they make them out there that do roll cross body. Um, and there's different makers and manufacturers out there for them. Um, and if that was something that you were going to go through, that's what I would recommend. Um, however, still just a crossbody with like the little sachet um, thing that comes across here. Uh, the issue that you have now in it too is still it's going to be flailing from the body. I would highly recommend having a tertiary support around the waistline. Um, and when we really get down to it, I'm a fan of having it on my person, uh, male or female. I've heard, uh, well, it doesn't fit with my outfits or into dresses. That's a valid point. It's a very valid point. We have to remember what is our intended purpose for having a gun. Uh, guns and holsters aren't fashion statement. They're there for a specific reason, to help us defend our life in a lethal force encounter. With that said, may we have to change our outfit or what we're wearing to accommodate some type of a holster that's something we might have to think about even uh, guys they'll have to go with a larger shirt or a suit jacket or some type of um, uh, untuck it style shirt to cover to cover the gun properly so you're not uh, imprinting on it so there's a couple little things in there now if you're dead set on uh, a purse holster for your to carry like I said, there's a lot of manufacturers out there that make some. I need to um, 
get some to test them. Because the only way we know if they're gonna work is if we put it to the test. Are we gonna be able to get the gun out of there in an immediate confrontation of lethal force? Um, and remember, if we are going with a purse as our holster, what's the intended purpose? It's the holster of the gun. It's not all this other stuff because it kind of gets um, lost when not being able to uh, rapidly acquire the gun when we really, really need it. And when you need it, you don't need to be fumbling around for it. So we have to train it and train it and train it and train it so that it becomes second nature. If that's what we're wearing, we have a good security system on there and understand now that our primary focus is we have to secure that gun so that it doesn't come get taken away or the purse gets taken away and we can rapidly acquire the gun if we need to defend ourselves or some other person. So some pros and cons to it. Again, I'm a fan of having it on me uh, and not on a secondary device attached to me. Are there times that I've done something like that? I've carried them on there, maybe on a backpack and secured it, and I still had one on me as well. So if you want to go with a, a purse holster, highly recommend do your homework on it. Make sure it has some type of a good solid mounting system in the purse for the gun itself. I would recommend, I've seen some of them out there that have a nice um, Kydex style positive locking system in the, the purse for the gun. And you can acquire it either through Velcro, something you can push your hand down into with, without having to defeat a zipper type mentality. You throw that zipper and then it's another security measure you have to get through to get to the gun to save your life. So do the research on it. And again, some type of a tertiary device to lock it onto my body a little bit more secure. And so that if it's locked to my body, we don't have the, uh, Mike, where did I put my purse? Oh, I set it down. We set that purse down and it has our gun into it. Now it's not even a part of me. Um, so that's, that's an issue. Really, you wanna be clear to it, that's an issue. You can't have a purse holster and take the purse, set it down, forget it, leave it in the shopping cart, leave it in the car, that's a bad day. That's a really bad day, a potentially dangerous day. So a uh, lot of things to consider, a lot of things to think about. So uh, I, I hope to spark some conversation with you. If you uh, want to learn some more stuff about this, I've got a blog on my website with some information regarding purses as holsters. And I hope to soon get my own purse, match my, my outfits, to do some training with it and really test it out and become more proficient with, with that to help uh, and enhance females that really want to train that stuff. It's a viable option. I've said it a couple times, it's a viable option. It's, uh, it's a, something that women are always carrying. However, we need to make that determination. Is it a purse for our our stuff or is it a purse for the gun specifically hope you enjoyed the video and i look forward to training with you put it to the test mike out